These are seed oysters, which I've had in the estuary for a month. Um, they come down from uh, Warney Island, up in the northeast, and they're reared in um, tanks in a hatchery, where they um, crush up um, cockle shell or oyster shell, and then they introduce the uh, perfect male oyster and the perfect female oyster together in a tank, and then slowly bring the water temperature up to the spawning um, temperature, which is about 15 to 17 degrees. Then they spawn. Uh, the female shoots out the eggs, the male shoots out the sperm, and they have to take the oysters out of the tank, because otherwise they'll just filter and eat all, all the larvae. And then the uh, sperm and the eggs intermingle in the tanks, form a, a larvae, which swims around, a bit like a tiny tadpole, um, for two weeks before it goes down to the bottom and latches onto the, um, the shell on the bottom and then turns into a perfect oyster. And how long does it take to go from this size oysters to the ones that you'd um, take to the tanks for cleaning? Um, probably about the average would be three, three and a half years. But that depends on the, how much nutrients are in the water? Yeah, it de depends on how the salinity levels of the water, the temperature of the estuary, and how many oysters you've got in each bag. So obviously more oysters in a bag, each oyster's getting less food. So there's a lot of different things which will determine the, the time really.